Central nervous system, or CNS, demyelinating disorders involve the inflammatory destruction of the myelin sheath. A medical condition associated with this type of disorder is multiple sclerosis. In all central nervous system inflammatory disorders, the destruction originates from a common pathway, the massive T-cell infiltration of the CNS. Tightly connected specialized endothelial cells form a single layer that lines the inner surfaces of capillaries. This lining usually limits the passage of large proteins and cells. However, in central nervous system inflammatory disorders, the endothelial lining changes, allowing activated T cells to leave the blood vessel and migrate through this barrier. Adhesion molecules on the surface of immune cells bind to adhesion molecules newly expressed on the endothelial cells. When this happens, the T cell is captured and held firmly in place on the endothelium. Once captured, the T cell is able to leave the capillary and migrate through the endothelial barrier into tissue. This process is known as diapedesis. Once through the endothelial barrier, T cell movement in the brain tissue is further facilitated by the presence of an extensive fibronectin matrix. The T cell again utilizes adhesion molecule interactions to move along this matrix to sites of inflammation. In central nervous system demyelinating disorders, this infiltration of T cells leads to further inflammation and tissue destruction. In this animal model of inflammation, you can see T cells traveling through a blood vessel. When inflammation is present, the T cells slow roll and stop on the blood vessel endothelium, which allows them to migrate into tissue. It is anticipated that this vicious cycle of inflammation and tissue destruction or degeneration could be broken by preventing T cells from migrating into the inflamed vascular tissue. A new class of potential therapeutics known as Selective Adhesion Molecule or SAM inhibitors is designed to prevent the migration of inflammatory T cells from the vasculature. In the blood vessel, these SAM inhibitors bind to a specific adhesion molecule on the T cell surface and may prevent the lymphocyte from adhering to the endothelial surface, thus preventing activated T cells from penetrating the blood-brain barrier. Because adhesion molecules bind T cells to fibronectin in brain tissues, selective inhibition would also discourage T cell migration to sites of inflammation. As we can see again in our animal model of inflammation, when a selective adhesion molecule inhibitor or SAM inhibitor is introduced, the T cell is prevented from penetrating the endothelial barrier. Successful SAM inhibition should therefore result in a significant reduction of neural damage associated with the inflammatory response. Indeed, pilot and early clinical studies examining the use of these SAM inhibitors in CNS inflammatory disorders have shown encouraging results to date. Biogen IDEC and Elan, pioneers in adhesion molecule biotechnology.